like in here though is one more for the road. I think this horse is really interesting off this mark. Rath Gall Hill was the subject of plenty of support earlier on. The rain has come for that horse's chances. Mark Johnson with the call. Miles ahead of them in the colleague celebration of business handicap chase. They face up to the first of 13 fences. Calgary Tiger with the white blaze will lead them over fence number one. And he led by a couple of lengths to Bollinger and Krug who took it in second. Then Duhalo Tommy who's racing in third. That one's outside, one more for the road. To the inside is Game On For Glory as Calgary Tiger takes them over fence number two and he's already skipped clear. He's clear now by about eight lengths on the run down towards the water jump fence number three. Calgary Tiger in the hands of James Best going clear as they run to the water jump and over it safely. Duhalo Tommy took it in second, Bollinger and Krug was over in third, and then one more for the road, alongside Game On For Glory, Rath Gall Hill is towards the rear of the field together with the held up Mount Tempest as they go into the turn. So racing towards the back straight, and Calgary Tiger, already a course and distance winner here last spring, clear by about 10 lengths to Bollinger and Krug on the inside of the Plumpton specialist do hello Tommy as they go now towards fence number four. Calgary Tiger at it, took a bit of a look at it, but still jumps it really well. Rather slow at the back of the field was Mount Tempest and he's now pushed away from that fence as they go towards the open ditch. Calgary Tiger comes to it with a clear lead, but it's not as clear now as it was. It's down to around about six lengths over Duhalo Tommy in second, who in turn has got about four lengths over Bollinger and Krug, who is in third place, as Calgary Tiger was very good at that next plane fence. Now coming through to take fourth is Rath Gall Hill, racing on the inside of one more for the road. Just being niggled along now is Game On For Glory to hold her position, and Mount Tempest is the back marker as Calgary Tiger once again really attacked that next fence and he still has a clear lead and he's opening up once again. The advantage has opened up now to about eight lengths once more going into the eighth fence. Calgary Tiger is at it, hit it. He really hit that very, very hard. He did very well to survive that mistake. And he still leads by the best part of six lengths to Duhalo Tommy, who is in second. Bollinger and Krug and Rathgall Hill. And then on the outside, one more for the road, followed by a along game on for glory and Mount Tempest. Mount Tempest, still a good 15 off the leader, who continues to be Calgary Tiger as he makes the turn to come down the side of the course, still with this very handy advantage, but still five fences to jump. Calgary Tiger coming now towards the cross fence with this clear lead. He's at it, and he's over safely. Wasn't that quick in the air, but he's still clear of Duhalo Tommy in second. Into a clear third now goes Rath Gore Hill, and now Mount Tempest begins to make his move around the outside. Sent into fourth by Harry Skelton. Bollinger and Crew back to fifth. Then one more for the road, and game on for glory. Four fences to take up the home straight. Calgary Tiger still has the lead of four lengths over Duhalo Tommy in second, and he in turn is clear of the third, who is Rath Gore Hill. Over in fourth came Mount Tempest. The open ditch, the final ditch, now in the sights of the leader, Calgary Tiger. Fence number 11 of the 13. He comes to the ditch, ridden into it, and he jumps it with a lead reduced to two lengths by Duhalo Tommy. Over on the far side, Rath Gore Hill. Now rallying his game on for glory from a long way back. Mount Tempest is next as they go over the second last and a change to the lead as Duhalo Tommy takes the lead in the hands of Tom Cannon. Over on the far side, Rath Gore Hill is in second. On the near side, Game On For Glory in third. Over the final fence, Duhalo Tommy has the lead, just hanging across Rath Gore Hill, who's going to try and challenge towards the rail as they go around the elbow, but it's Robbie Dunn who lets out an inch of rain on Rath Gore Hill, who will win very easily. Rath Gore Hill beats Duhalo Tommy, and up for third, Game On For Glory. Rathgall Hill, an easy winner then for Robbie Dunn and Sam Drinkwater at Newbury. But let's head back to Wolverhampton, closing stages with Alan Harris.
Two lengths away to one colour, then Riyada Star and ridden along for more is 10 to the top. They're about to enter the home straight and racing towards the final furlong and a half. It is Rosie Kiss on the front end. Up the inside, Toxic making a big run though. Toxic now looking to claim Rosie Kiss. Maritime Lady sticks on the red cap to the outside. Then Adela Bella and Nancy P. They're running inside the final half. It's Toxic over on the far side. Maritime Lady near side. Between and Rosie Kiss. Toxic and Maritime Lady. Toxic in front. From Maritime Lady Rosie Kiss and the never nearer Riyadh Star, who is running on strongly at the end.